Hey, welcome back to Big D Energy live on the Woolworth Sports Network. We are just talking the notice of allegations draft that was leaked and everybody's gotten a chance to read it. I summarized it. We've given our thoughts and we're going to, I want to hear more thoughts in the room in the chat, but first I have to read this 999 super chat from Dante999. Thank you for that. Hey, Flannel Sam, you shouldn't apologize at all for what Michigan did. As an MSU fan, if Satan was my head coach and we cheated to win, hell yeah, I wouldn't give any Fs at all. But that's in the past now, and that's something that Spencer Raxter has alluded to and said on air that he would take a national championship if Satan was their head coach. I and would. I also see Brandon. I'd buy merch. 100%. And I, and I also see Brandon Katz saying, Sam, you sound pathetic. Stop playing the victim. And let me, let me just put all of that together and give this response to that. I don't think I'm necessarily playing the victim. What I would say is I wish, and this is where I've had to go in through stages, and this is something I'm going to admit that a lot of Michigan fans won't, and I don't necessarily blame them for that. I wish in a perfect world that Michigan, everything was clean, or they didn't get caught, whichever one, I don't really care, and that everybody just gave us the validation and just said, we won fair and square and all of that. In a perfect world, I would love that. However... One thing that I think a lot of Michigan fans have to embrace, and some have, and I'm coming around to it, is to wear the black hat. Be the team that is hated by everybody else. Be the team that everybody is uh, coming for. Because I will say this. You are. That's fair. One of the things that has bothered me, but I'm finding a way to recontextualize it, is the fact that a lot of MSU Twitter and a lot of MSU fans have become emboldened to talk a lot of smack. However... One thing in which you can frame this if you're a Michigan fan, and I'm choosing to frame it, is right now, that's all they have. Michigan State fans have been through two of the most miserable seasons in their history. I cannot, back to back, I cannot imagine going through what you guys did. I did it to some extent in 08 and 09, but that was a really, really long time ago. That is all Michigan State has. And the last couple of seasons, they weren't bowl eligible in any of those seasons, two losing seasons back to back, and lost to Michigan by a combined 78 to seven. So the fact that they're reveling in this, it should be something that Michigan fans kind of point and laugh at because you guys, Sean Belegian and Spencer Rexter said, you guys wish that you were Michigan fans at this point. And even Ohio State fans, and I get it. They're obviously not down bad really at all in the grand scheme of things, but there's a lot of question marks with is Ryan Day the guy that's going to lead them back to being national champions because, because, and I know you're laughing over there, Sean. I'll get to you in a second. Because the last three seasons, Ohio State has lost to Michigan. And with Ohio State and Ryan Day, they have went from being a team that is tough under Urban Meyer and Jim Trestle, better in the trenches, to kind of basketball on grass. And Michigan has been the kryptonite to Ohio State. So right now, I would rather, as a Michigan fan, have the national championship and all that comes around it than being the teams, the, the, the teams, the alums, the fans of the school that are begging for it to be taken away by the NCAA or whatever powers that be. And I get it. With necessity, with... with uh, What's, how do I phrase this? The fact that it's not clean, the fact that things are coming out has made me react this way, but I am never going to apologize for a national never. champion. Nor should you. And I, I never will. Yeah. I think it's funny, like conversations like this, fandom are inevitably gonna, going to come up. There's no doubt about yes. it. But that's why I said at the what I said at the beginning of the show. Fandom doesn't have anything to do with this. Like mm -hmm. we're all seeing this. I think right now we live in a society, okay? Where we are constantly told that you are not seeing what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you are not hearing what you're hearing. And I think a lot of us rational human beings who, who I actually have a modicum of trying to be fair are, are, are just getting flipping. Am I allowed to swear? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're just getting fucking tired of it. Woo. Like, honestly, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You didn't see what you saw. You know, it's, 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 those are not the droids you're looking for. People <laughs> are trying to do the Jedi mind trick shit on people all the time. It's old. Flannel, what you just said, like, I mean that, with a few exceptions that we can get into. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't have any problem with it. Mm -hmm. You're the national champions. Just own what we're all seeing. Own it. And we'll all move on. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right? Can I get into the Ryan Day stuff? Go just right for ahead. a second. <laughs> I am fascinated. <laughs> Go ahead. 
I am fascinated. Justin, don't think you're getting left out of this. You were I, doing a lot of Ohio State slurping last week. I I'll just say that. Absolutely. I wouldn't hold on. I wouldn't slurping, say slurping. Yeah, That's I, a little excessive. I was strong. being fair. I'm not a slappy. I am fascinated by <laughs> your fan base. Slurping. Most of your fan base has just suddenly kind of dismissed Ryan Day and Ohio State, and they're just soft. I'm fascinated by it. I'm not going to lie. And, and I know you're a big facts guy, as yeah. am I. Yes. Okay? This is a man whose worst year, worst year, is number 10 in the nation. But what is that result? That's in? his worst year. Now, can I compare them to your Lord and Savior? His best year until Connor Stallions, I mean until 2021, was number 10 in the nation. His best year. What? Like, I'm not trying to be funny here. Am, what am I missing? Okay. If, if you want to, if you want to say they don't come as hard, and we've had their number, you're absolutely right. Yes. You flip that script. There's no doubt about it. But to sit back as an educated fan and not accept what Ryan Day has done and what he has at his disposal this year, am I missing something? No, I didn't. Because you're acting like I'm saying he's a bad coach. He certainly isn't a bad coach at Ohio State. The standard is national championships. Jim Tressel won one in 02. Urban Meyer won one in 2014. Like moving those baby, but That's... go on. No, but like in the past three he years, Ryan, the biggest hindrance to Ohio State being there is the fact that they were soft against Michigan. They've lost to Michigan three years in a row. That's my point. Ryan Day is obviously a very good coach. He has his record against every other team except Michigan is exemplary. His record, even if you include Michigan in totality, is exemplary. I'm just saying that... Even Ohio State fans aren't aren't don't love Ryan Day. And I think that he's turned their program into a little bit of basketball on grass. And I don't think that that's unfair. Now, so, can I, I ask you this, though? Do Ohio State fans have an issue with Ryan Day because of the overall product or because the team that they own forever they've lost to three years in a row? The latter, for sure. Because, I, like again, I, I'm sitting here and I have no horse in the race, okay? I don't. I always laugh during the week of the game. Like for a while, it wasn't that important whether you guys want to admit it or not. It, it just wasn't oh, that yeah. important, okay? But growing up for me, especially like I started my career in Toledo. Do you know how fun it was to be in the trenches on the front front line of the Michigan Ohio State battle back in the day? I didn't have a horse in the race. So I got to make you hate them as much as humanly possible and make you hate them as much as humanly possible. Yeah. I love it. It was great. I don't have a horse in the race. So I have to look at this logically, God forbid, and factually. This is a dude, his failure. And I think what you just said, are you comparing Ryan Day to the pack or are you comparing Ryan Day to Ohio State? Because if, if your worst year... If your worst year is number 10 in the nation, number 10 in the nation, my dude's doing something right. He is, but what has that resulted in? That's my only... That's, I, I, I have two questions with these statements. One is, so what you guys telling me is that Ryan Day has a shorter leash than Jim Harbaugh. And, yeah. And yeah. two, how long until you keep the same energy with Sharon Moore? When does Sharon Moore have to win a national championship before it's time for him to get fired? Okay, that's he hasn't even coached a game. Yeah. I'm just, so, but but that, that's the standard. He's the new head coach. That's the standard you're sitting at. the standard. And, and sure. if Ryan Day hasn't been successful, Sharon Moore needs to win a national championship to be successful. That's what you're saying. But Ryan Day has been successful to some degree. He's just not infallible. Yeah. He's just not infallible. He don't get that's it done I'm in saying. the big games. Okay, he so don't. Let, me, let me rephrase and it. That's a fair until last year. And, and facts. That's fair. Is, denying he, it. is he worthy of the slander that has been thrown his name for a long time now? He's not worthy of the worst type of slander that basically say he's a trash head coach and Ohio State's a trash program. Right. That's that's he's not and worthy of that. And that's coming from his own fans. He's not his worthy own of that. Fan you know why? 39 and yeah, 3. And I get that. 39 and 3 is really what it's about. I get that. It, it, and, and if you don't know what that number is, the man is 39 and 3 against the conference, and we all know who the three losses are at. And by the way, again, you're lying to yourself if you don't say that Michigan has reestablished itself as a national power. Yeah. Okay, for years, I had to listen to you people throw that in my face, okay? I did. Remember the whole Denard stuff? Come on. Let's, I mean... let's be honest. But now, I can't deny that. Sven, can you deny it? I, I definitely not, but I, I need to see it. 
when you have a new quarterback, new head coach, and completely new offensive line, fair. fair. I need but to be, see that's based fair. Based on what's transpired, their the defense last three is years. still probably the best in the country. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Based on what I've seen the last three years, you guys don't have to argue that. If, if somebody doesn't want to give you your flowers, that's their fault, okay? But if if you're telling me that going 11 and 2 and finishing 10th in the nation, I need to re- reiterate this. By the way, that's his worst season. If, if you're telling me that that's a guy that you shouldn't be worried about anymore, I think you got a rude awakening this November. I really, truly do. Because this just in, they're a wagon this year. Yeah. Okay, we think. And I get it. They're more talented on paper than Michigan. I get they that. They got to put it 100%. On the it's just You'll all, find out. all of the pressure see? is on Ohio State. Whether you like it or not, all of the Literally. pressure is on Ohio State. If they don't win this year at home in Columbus. I agree with you. He's with, out of here. With, I agree with you. That's fair. Th- then it's pr- it's worse than the other three losses combined, I would yes, say. That's something sure. in which Ohio State fans, not, you know, Michigan man or, or Michigan fan flannel Sam, Ohio State fans would want his head on a chopping block if they lose to Michigan four years in a row, including two times in Columbus, including one in which they're probably going to have the clearly more talented team barring injury. You're going back to John Cooper territory. Yes. And, and for you kids yes. out there that don't remember that, go look it up. John Cooper was a guy that had a tremendous amount of success at Ohio State, and more often than not, just couldn't beat Michigan, especially going into games where everybody and their brother thought it was going to be a curb stomping. There were a couple times in there where you're like, oh, this is going to be really bad this year. And somehow, some way, Lloyd Carr found a way. Mm-hmm. I mean, that was the end of John Cooper at Ohio State. It was. Yeah. Period. And, and that's, I mean... I, I still believe I don't think the average Michigan fan, okay? And I don't think you guys are average Michigan fans. Yeah. But the average Michigan fan doesn't understand. Listen, they hate you yeah. a hell of a lot more than you hate them. Yeah. Spats. I don't think you, you guys don't. And, and how do I know that? I did shows down there. I did shows in, in, in Toledo. I called it the front lines for a reason. They hate your guts. I was down Period. there this weekend at the shoe. They still have the X's on M's around their campus. It's, it's yeah. insane. At Cavaliers it, it, games. At Cavaliers games, they have the Michigan block in when the opposing team is taking free throws for yep. crying out loud. Like So to your point, Flannel, Flannel, like you're right. I don't know how this is gonna play out. But part of our job is to look at teams and say, Hey, I think this team's gonna be really good. Or I think ah, I got some questions about this team. I'm telling you right now, and you guys can throw this back in my face, I think Ohio State's playing for the natty this year. I think they're they going to lose be. by 17 points to Georgia. Yeah. But I, th- I think they're playing for the natty this they year. They should be. If you were to ask me today who's going to win Michigan at Ohio State in November, I would pick Ohio State. I would. Yeah. Oh, but but, but I'm hold on. DSing when I say it. You know what? Get in there, Justin. Wait, Get on. in there. Right. We got to go to break. We got to go to break. <laughs> oh, no, 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 there's no break. Yeah. 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 Suddenly, he wants to no. take a break. It's no. literally three it's minutes after. We can, yeah, we can break. double up. Okay, the boss. Okay, the boss okay, okay, says you know no what? break. Justin, you have the floor. Yes. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> we, we're three minutes literally past break time. But you know what? We don't have to take a break. Justin, no go breaks. ahead. Yeah, I mean, you can't you can't say that I'm over here DS in Ohio State when I still said Michigan is going to go 10-2 and two on the season, which will make the playoff. Yeah. But I'm DSing because I think they're going to lose to Ohio State when they have a complete question mark at quarterback. That Ohio State literally has a... Guy who has won a conference championship at quarterback. They have more talent around us. They have less question marks on their offensive line. They're, I can't say defensive line, but they have their entire defensive line back as well. There is not one place on either on either roster that Ohio State doesn't have more experience than other than D-line. I have anything else you could argue. All right, that that's fine. That's, <laughs> you know, that's fine. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Justin. My issue with some of the stuff that you said last week is, oh my God, Will Howard. Shit for me, Timbers. Will Howard. Oh and I get it. Will, Will Howard's Howard. a top 10 quarterback Shit in the country. Oh, Timbers. that's debatable. No. I like Will Howard. I, I don't understand that's the fine. slider towards his I'll tell you either. what. I'll tell you what. We all agree that Michigan's defense is really damn good this year. Yeah. We all agree with that. Yes, yeah, sir. Michigan's defense in 2021 and 2022 had 
minimal problem with CJ Stroud and guys like Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, Jackson Smith, and Jigba in 2021. You knew the plays. I'm sorry. I had something in my throat. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> and, and, that and, was and, a joke. That was unfair. I'm going to yeah, retract that, say, okay? That was unfair. You get your chance here today, I see. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. And in 2022, you had Marvin Harrison Jr. and Abeka Obuka. Last year, you had the same cast of characters. Characters with Kyle McCord, that's a little bit different. Kyle but, McCord's uh, a bum. But this Will Howard glazing is, is I, I, I just... You really don't like him? I think he's fine. He's better than Kyle McCord? A little bit. I think so. Much has, better. Has Kyle, yeah, yeah. has Kyle McCord won a conference championship? Did I miss that somewhere? No. D did I did I miss uh, him winning bowl games? Uh, no, he's 0, he's 0 for 1 in bowl games, he's too. He's much uh, better than it. Kyle McCord. No, I'm yeah. just... Yeah. If they had Not Will... No, never mind. Never mind. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm not yeah don't say that. Yeah, don't okay. say that, Sveti. <laughs> don't do it. If they had a better kicker, they would be national champions. That's fine. Yeah. But they, they gag. They, they gag not just with the kicking, with the play calling after that C.J. Stroud long run. They mm -hmm. should have made it a little bit closer. I'm just, that is that's true. all I'm Can't saying. Win the big game, it's man. just, Justin, you were a little too gleeful last week talking about Ohio State. You were trying to be the reasonable Michigan fan, not the slappy, just uh, Ohio State, all the talent. That Shame on you. <laughs> Shame on you for being fair. Right. Shame on me for How being fair. dare right. you? <laughs> With more returners and the best transfer class and the best recruiting class. Oh my God, I'm such a slappy. <laughs> oh, I, no, I'm not going to say that. I, L-O-V-E, Ohio State, I'll never say that, but I am fair and I do understand what the, current infrastructure of college football is and yeah. how good this Ohio State team has the potential to be. On paper, yes. That's right, on paper. And that's all I'm going to say. I think on you're paper. all setting yourself up again, man. Yeah. I really do. I you, hate to say just it. Just because you buy your team don't mean it's going to work. Now, it can. They should be in the national title, like you said. We see, we have to see it first. I, I'm intrigued. I, or, like, honestly, Oregon's right there with them in my mind. Yeah. I really honestly think that. Absolutely. Could Oregon upset that? Yeah, sure they could. Yeah, I mean, I because I, in just one man's opinion, I feel. I mean, I'm, I guess, educated college football fan. Um, I like would my jaw drop if Oregon ended up representing no. the Big Ten? No. no, but I think it'll be Ohio. That would piss me off. <laughs> Why would it piss you off? Just, uh, first year, like fuck you guys. I know, right? That, that would that'd be a hell of a way to come into the Big Ten. Penn State, that whole Penn. Uh, then we got to listen to their mouths worse. back in the day. Yeah. It was be the worse. absolute worst. Yeah. Absolute worst. Oh, James Franklin, our savior. Oh, so oh my God. Oh, my He's going to do it this year. He's going to do it. He's ask, got it. Ask James Franklin about Jaden Reed in the snow. Hey, oh. Tell him to hold my Penn nuts. State's making the college football playoff this year, though. They probably will. Oh, well, yeah. they, have the easy, they have one of the Tell easiest people. schedules I've ever they seen. They yeah. do. They do. You guys, okay. They do. I know we're late, but can I? Yeah, go ahead. You have to understand. There will be a game this year where James Franklin will do something so mind-numbingly moronic mm -hmm. that they will lose the game. You yeah. know that. That's like set your watch to what happened. Spenny, it happened against Michigan State a couple times. Yeah, it did. There were a couple times in the Franklin era where I'm sitting there going, how the? Did they lose that? How, how did Penn yeah. State lose that? No reason for us to be good. You know, Twice. And cough, they cough. Shut down yeah. Saquon Barkley like it was nothing. Like, right. Yeah. And you're just sitting there. So that's why I'm sorry. No disrespect to you. I. By the way, is this the same guy that's trying to throw shade at Ryan Day and talking about Guys. James Franklin making a playoff. <laughs> I'm joking. Relax. And he likes Drew Aller, too. Relax. Yes. And he's a Drew Aller guy. No, I'm not a Drew Aller guy. I just think that he's a, he's a, he's a quarter he's a good quarterback. He's a I mean, he's a good college quarterback. You were very bullish of him when I was in the audio booth uh, a couple weeks ago. Was no, because slurping? you act like he's he's uh, Noah Kim. You may, he might as well be Noah Aller or Drew Kim to you. That's basically what you that's basically what you said. That's basically what you said. <laughs> he's closer to Will Howard than he is to Noah Kim. Okay. But he's better than Will Howard. Nick Sheridan? No, he's not. Yes, he is. Absolutely not. Drew Aller, in terms of me a college quarterback, Aller might be a better NFL prospect, but in terms of a college quarterback, Will Howard, 100%. Oh, wait. Did I miss when Drew Aller won a conference championship game? Oh. Oh, did did the, he win his bowl game this year, oh, or did he big, lose to oh, Ole Miss? The, the big oh, 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 sorry. Okay. I must have missed the, those those two things there happening. Is some oh, magical, gonna... There is some magical hype thing that happens like around Penn State, though. Because you hear, like what you just said about, it reminded me of Hackenberg, remember? Mm -hmm. Watch that guy play, and you're like, there's nothing there. Yeah, there's man. not, and yet everybody and their brother was going, oh, that is an NFL prospect. I'm like, am I missing something? He didn't get is drafted. There, he didn't get drafted. I, right, but that's the shit that you heard. It was incredible. Like for two years, I, I, like, I watch that guy, and I'm like going, okay, today's the day. Something's right. going to bounce out. Nope. Yeah, he's going to show me something, because <laughs> nope. I can't be that big of an idiot that I don't see it, and... 
By golly, I never saw it. It was amazing how that worked out. He didn't do he didn't do anything in the NFL. He wasn't good. He's no Rocky Lombardi, I'll tell you that. He's better than Rocky Lombardi. <laughs> Objectively. I mean, hey. Rocky Lombardi beat Michigan. Is Drew Eller beat Michigan? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. Had a pretty bit pretty he had a, a pretty bad game. I'm just saying that he's not trash. Brutal game. He did. He did. And Penn State is probably gonna make the college football playoff. They're gonna make it as like the ten through twelve seed, but they're probably gonna make the college football playoff. So Penn State probably will. Yes. Ohio State. Yes. More than likely will. Yes. Oregon more than likely will. Yes. Yes. Michigan will Michigan make it. Michigan will too. They'll have four, four Big Ten teams. Four Big Ten teams. When we come back, can I tell you my concern? Yes. For Michigan, I'll tell you my concern for Michigan. Mm-hmm. Probably uh, Will Howard lighting him up, right? No. <laughs> it's actually not. He's actually not. Yeah, he went into it before. Yeah. <laughs>